You're a sinner, but you are a sinner that is saved by grace. If that is your narrative, if you understand that that is the story of your life, it radically changes the way you view other people. How do you look down on anybody whenever you already recognize, I'm a sinner? I, what I love is whenever somebody wants to insult and get down on me, oh, you horrible, good-for-nothing hypocrite, I'm just like, buddy, you don't know the half of it. Why am I going to let them make me feel bad? I already know I'm a sinner. I know what's in my heart. God loves me anyway. Christ forgives me. See, you're not saved because you're a better person. Because you're not a better person. But we're not saved because we're a better or worse person. We already know that we're bad people. We're saved because we know we're no better than they are. And so we go to Christ and we say, Lord, I need your mercy. It says Christ was numbered among the transgressors. Us. He, he became a man and counted himself among us so that we can be numbered among the sons and daughters of God. He came and died that we might be forgiven and be reconciled back to God and given a new life. A life where we become like him, where our sin and pride are shed and instead we live a life of grace and of love and of mercy to those around us because what else are we going to do? We're no better than they are. Who are we to look down on them? <laughs> 